So what are we looking at right here, Lucas? So this is our, uh, our first war zone. We call it Fracture. Uh, and you can kind of see some of our initial uh, warrior classes in the game. There's actually uh, three factions in the game, two of which we're talking about at E3 this year, and one of which we'll be introducing later. Uh, the first two factions are the Royal Marines and the Cossack Empire. We also have, uh, for our beta, uh, which will be coming out in 2015, we're going to introduce five warrior classes. That's something we continually develop with the game, so that, that list will forever grow. But here at E3, we're showing off kind of the first three, so you can kind of see them moving through the world. Uh, movement in this game is something that we really wanted to be very fast and fluid and fun. Uh, so you can see kind of the special things. You saw them, like, swinging through the air on our, our grapnel nodes, you know, that allow you to kind of quickly get up and down to areas in the game. And so... You can see combat here, you know, it has a lot of mix of melee, it has a lot of mix of range. You can, you know, jump right in, you've got abilities to use, you can kind of decide when to use them to, to you know, make your, your class really do the things that they're specialized at. And where is this going to come out? Is this PC? There's so many different things it can come out on nowadays. Uh, absolutely. So, uh, you know, the, the game is uh, is PC only is right. all we've announced so far, but, you know, we have it up and running on the controllers, and it's a really fun experience on the controllers, so we're definitely keeping all our options open, but so far, PC is all we're announcing. That's some interesting stylization in the blood physics. It, lo it looks like serious but seriously cartoony yeah again you know we wanted to have a really kind of stylized world with this and so you know yes it's violent but we wanted to try to find you know some some beauty and some artistry to that and so that's where kind of a lot of the the blood and the world and even the characters themselves really really dip into that and everybody can grapple up to the top just like those people were doing. They just fly right up there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things. Uh, we're really inspired by kind of shooter maps okay. and, and the strategy of those. So we wanted to have a lot of flow, a lot of verticality. You know, where you fight in the map is, is different on how you fight. Um, you know, we've also added mechanics to the game. You can see the, kind of the characters glowing sometimes. Right. This is an adrenaline mechanic. So as a warrior, you earn this adrenaline. You can see it on the screen now. Uh, and you can choose to use a little bit of it to temporarily boost, boost your character or fill it all up and activate your ultimate ability, which makes you just super powerful for time. So. Oh, you just go berserk out there. Yeah, you so, just so go you, buck you, wild. You have a lot of opportunity. And as, as a skilled player, you've got to figure out, do you want to use it in short little bursts just when you need an advantage, or do you want to save it off kind of for the kind of big coup de grace? Yeah, just go for it. Just go for it, right? Like, like, <laughs> whoa, people are sliced up there. Yeah, so you can see when their swords are glowing, that's someone just using a little bit of that adrenaline to gain a quick advantage. I mean, can you chop up people in different ways, or is it just oh, in the torso? I'm, no, I'm interested in that, right? <laughs> no, uh, the, it's a system that's definitely uh, has a lot of lot of options and, and variants to it. So, <laughs> uh, especially as we add more and more animations to it, it just keeps growing exponentially. Right, we, you're very early on in this game, right? Absolutely. I mean, you're showing this uh, beautiful gameplay right here, but there's more to come, right? Yeah, th this is uh, what you see here has only been really developed in the last year. So, you know, we're, uh, we're going to beta in 2015. We have an amazingly great team that just iterates on this game so fast. So uh, even even a weeks from now, it'll look like a completely different game. That is, yeah, yeah, and that certainly is always like the most wackiest thing whenever you get an early sneak peek at these games. And it's like, what am I looking at? Wait, what? this game doesn't look anything like it used to before.